Hello viewers, so welcome to my YouTube channel. In this episode today, do you have work experience, educational experience in tier 4 or tier 5 in Canada? There's a pathway that is about to be launched now and it is geared towards those that have experience in tier 4 or tier 5 in Canada for them to get the PR seamlessly, faster, easy, as soon as possible. This program is about to be launched later this year and that's what I'll be dissecting in this episode today. So I want you to hang on tight, stay tuned let's talk about this all right viewers welcome back to my youtube channel i still remember my humble self mc bernardino this is canada reality where digital content for those that are already in canada and those that have aspiration to come into canada is this your first time on this youtube channel yes we've been doing this for the last five years hit on the subscribe button turn on the notification bell so that anytime i drop a video you always be among the first to get it and please if you enjoyed this video smash on the likes button because it helps you everything share our video our content with more people so just like i stated in the introduction that do you have work experience do you have educational experience in tier 4 or tier 5 this video is actually for you but in order for me to put it into context so that you can better understand this let's talk about what is tier 4 tier 5 what is actually the tier system initially before now in 2016 we used to have the NOC system NOC system is the way canada immigration canada government they put all the various jobs into NOC. so we have I know we used to have uh, no, zero A, B, C, and C, D, yeah, there about then. But in 2021 slash 2022, it was changed to the tier system. So now we have tier zero, one, two, three, four, five. So based on this calibration, zero, one, two, three is majorly for skilled workers. I mean, if you have your bachelor's, you have your master's, you have your PhD, these are the jobs that you are looking at. But those that are in tier 4 and tier 5 are the semi-skilled slash unskilled. The, those are the people that fall, with work experience, that fall into this pathway. So over time, it has been discovered that the Canadian experience that, was, that is a pathway for international students to become a permanent resident in Canada is geared towards favors more of tier 0, 1, 2, 3. But those that are in tier 4 and tier 5, they've been sidelined because they have limited opportunity for them to become a permanent resident in Canada. Because I can name a few provincial nominee that is geared towards semi-skilled and unskilled workers. So when we look, when we talk about what are the jobs that falls into tier four and tier five. So you'll be talking about jobs like personal support worker, uh, electrician, plumber, woodworker, all those skilled, um, unskilled and semi-skilled jobs majorly are what you find with us. Those are what you find in tier four and tier five. So these people that falls in this sector, they've been struggling. I mean, some people go all the way to school to go and study. And when they're done schooling, if they get job in that tier, they are not sure of getting their permanent residence because there's no much opportunity for them to become a permanent resident older. And as a result of that, majority majority of these people they end up leaving those jobs leaving those costs and look for, looking for something better in tier zero one two three so over time cumulatively this has become a huge problem in canada because i remember there was a time whereby the construction sector was hugely um undermined because there is a huge labor turnover there are no much people that want to work in that sector and majority of these uh, people that used to work in this sector, they are getting to the uh, retirement age and there are fewer people to take over from them. And don't forget that there's no way the growth, the GDP of a country can grow without the semi-skilled and unskilled. Everybody, there needs to be a blend of the skilled, semi-skilled and unskilled in order to grow the economy of a country. So Canada is getting to a point whereby they are struggling because of this huge turnover and they feel that the best way to promote, to encourage more people, international students or those that are already in Canada looking for a job, is to actually create a palatable pathway for them to become a permanent resident because that will, that will attract more people in this area of endeavor and it will also help to stimulate the economy. So now let's talk about what are the benefits of this pathway. Don't forget I stated that according to the feedback that we're getting from immigration minister, that this program will be launched later this year slash beginning of next year. So the benefit will be that Canada is going to be a win-win for Canada government as a whole. Because when more people are in this sector, then that means the that sector of the economy, the semi-skilled and unskilled, will also be vibrant and there will not be 
labor turnover, huge turnover that like we used to witness, more people will be willing to work in this sector, especially international students that are coming in or those that are on their postgraduate work permit, they will be willing to work we can work in this sector and it will also help to stimulate the economy. And likewise for international students to, to also be a win-win for them because they also know that when they are done studying, they get their postgraduate work permit they can also get their PR and eventually become a Canadian citizen. So it's going to be a win-win for everybody in uh, if it's eventually launched. So regarding the requirement for this particular stream, we do not know now. But as those information become available, I would let you know. But the hint is just that very soon, there's going to be a pathway that is geared towards tier 4 and tier 5 so that they also can be stimulated and also they can be gingered to get their permanent resident and to continue to work in those sectors because permanent resident is assured. All right, do you enjoy this video? Please smash on the likes button. Do you have any question, anything you're not clear about? Yes, I told you that it's still sketchy now, but if you have any question, any concern, drop it in the comment section because I read them and I will respond as soon as possible. If you enjoyed this video, smash on the likes button. If there's anybody out there that you feel will benefit in Canada, outside Canada, please share this video with them. And for those of you that are asking this question, is it only beneficial for those that are in Canada alone? No. If you are in Canada, yes, it's beneficial for you because you're already in the system. If you're outside Canada, another way you can take advantage of this is start looking at courses in these tiers. I mean, I've given you an example of what jobs fall under this category, semi-skilled job and skill and unskilled job. So plumber, electrician, woodworker, construction worker, um, HVAC, whatever, start looking at courses in this area because of the truth, I know an international student that came to Canada, Durham College, studied plumbing, and it's like, now he's done this program and he's working now as a plumber, as an apprentice, as a plumber. So eventually, if this program will get rolled out, this guy stand a good chance to benefit from this. So if you feel you enjoyed this video, smash on the likes button until I come back to you again on this YouTube channel. Don't forget, once those information break, i like to share it with you because I know this is a community that we've been growing over the years. So I'll like, see you in my next video. Stay out of trouble. Peace out.